It's all good YouTube, it is. Mate! And welcome to Grey Wolf Fitness. Now you've seen the title, haven't you? You've seen it! My one massive tip for big arms. And do you know what it is? Stop training them as much! Don't throw anything at the screen, it's your own. Now hear me out. Now about, whew, I think it was January of last year, I threw away the arm day. I know you might have heard me say this before, you might have thought, has he? Has he really? Yes I have. I've thrown away the arm day. I was training five days a week, not seeing much results. Threw the arm day away, cut it down to four. And the only time I train arms now, believe it or not, is once every two or three weeks. If I've got the energy, or if I've got the time. So why have I come to this? Overtraining the arms. Without a shadow of a doubt, I was overtraining the arms. If you're uh, doing the bench press, the squat, the deadlift, you're involving the arms. If you're pushing something, if you're pulling something, and if you're gripping something, you're training the arms. Unless you're sport specific and you need arm strength, I'll put the arm training to the back burner. Much better concentrating, like I said, on the squat, whether it's the front squat or the back squat, I prefer the front squat, the deadlift, even the axle deadlift. Give that grip a bit of a go. And if you don't know what the axle deadlift is, basically it's just um, a thicker bar. I use a scaffolding pole, a uh, run of the mill scaffolding pole. It fits Olympic plates on just fine. Don't need to have an expensive bar to do these at all. Just get yourself a scaffolding pole. And if you're at a gym and it doesn't have these bars, you've got to think to yourself, why isn't it? It might have a thousand or two thousand pound cable uh, crossover machine. Why has it not got a few hundred pound axle bar? So how do we incorporate this? Well, it's easy. Get rid of that arm day. Concentrate on those big ass movements. You train arms on a separate day, 45 minutes to an hour. You're either getting into your recuperation for your bigger muscle groups, or you're probably just wasting your time like I was. In the last three months since I've come away from, uh, or come back from holiday, sorry, I've trained them four times. And that included the other uh, video when I did the uh, static curl challenge. Now, they're not looking too badly they're not doing much at all but I think now the arms are recovering more so unless I've got some spare time and I think it's going to produce results I won't touch the arms at all I would do a little bit of grip work though obviously the grip work is going to help in the back exercises the deadlift so on and so forth a smaller group that you should be training and don't throw anything at the screen this time either the calves yes give those calves a bit of a thrashing and you can wear board shorts all year long except if you're in Britain and then it's weather permitting so on that note don't forget to like subscribe share and give us a comment oh there's going to be some comments on this one I'm sure there is I'll catch you next time